Hello guys, in this video on plasticity quick tips, I want to show you a nice little technique you may have not known about. So if I go ahead and hold down shift, I can go ahead and press shift D to uh, create a nice little copy of these edges. I can now, for example, press SS to scale that. Now, even though this is not flat, plasticity is powerful enough that if I select this, for example, and I press C and then I select that, you can see it's actually able to cut through that. And this is very useful because this is now a separate object. And now I can, of course, easily give this a separate uh, color. And I can create some fun fillet details and things like that. So this is a very nice way to create some uh, slick sci-fi details. Just like that. But one very interesting thing you may not know about is that if you... If you go ahead and let me just uh, undo that. So if you go ahead and change the angle of the camera to like this, for example, and then you press control space to activate temporary construction plane, you can now select this solid then press C and select this curve. And it's going to cut away using your camera angle. So previously it went all the way through here but now, because the camera angle, it's now going like this. So this is very useful for grading. This is very useful for creating very interesting details. And lots of happy accidents can occur when using this method. Of course, lots of unfortunate accidents could happen as well and things you don't really want. But if you simply go ahead and use different camera angles and then cut away, you can find yourself getting a lot of interesting details. Let's go ahead and change the camera angle. This time, let's do something like this. Let's press Control Space, Control and Space at the same time. We'll select that, we'll press C, we'll select that. As you can see, we now have this detail happening. So this will open up the possibility for some really cool designs right here. Well, right, let's go ahead and give ourselves another example. Let's say I go ahead and select this. I go ahead and press Control 2 to convert to edges like so. And I go ahead and press Shift D. Maybe I'll scale that a little bit. Let's see, maybe even something uh, like this. All right, control space, select this, press C, select that. And as you can see, it just nicely cuts along there. We can either delete that or simply change the colors. So guys, this gives us some very nice possibilities for creating some nice designs just by changing our camera angle and using uh, existing pieces right here. Control 2, Shift D, SS, Control Space. So this can save some nice time without having to, you know, create the curve here from scratch. If you can't see it, simply press Alt Z to activate transparency, C, and then you should be able to select it right here. I'll go ahead and press Alt M first to clear the color. Thank you for watching and take care.